Brunswick History 101 series. Uh, my name is James Castle. I'm the president of the Brunswick Heritage Museum. And this is the third in our series. Our first uh, episode was on the geology of Brunswick. Our second episode was the Native Americans uh, that habitated uh, this area. And then our third series is the many, many names of our area here now known as Brunswick. This is probably the most common conversation that happens right here in this location where we're at. We are in the CNO Canal Visitor Center section of the Brunswick Heritage Museum. And so let me talk, let's discuss a few of the former names of uh, the area that we now know as Brunswick. So first and foremost, uh, there were folks here traveling through in the 1720s, uh, one uh, primarily by the name of Abraham Pennington, who was a trader, who was here for a very short amount of time. But uh, this area was referred to by the natives as Buffalo Wallows. Uh, Buffalo Wallows meant basically, uh, literally, a place where buffaloes uh, stood and wallowed in the water, the Potomac River. And um, interestingly enough, buffalo remains have actually been found in uh, the Potomac River down where the Brunswick campsite is today. Uh, another Native American name of this area was Ilpot, and in the second series, you actually saw uh, an eel basket, uh, a fish basket, that was up on the second floor in our Native display. Uh, it was also called Ilpot Ford, so uh, folks passing through here, uh, settlers, uh, actually knew of the Native American term of Ilpot, and where they forded the river actually was called Ilpot Ford. The official land grant uh, that was granted to this area was Mary Hawkins Peepo Day. Uh, kind of a funny little name, um, but that is exactly what the land grant was called. We then uh, have the terminology of German Crossing, which was the location uh, where the German settlers were crossing over in the Potomac into Virginia, which is uh, in Lovettsville is known as the German settlement. We then come to the German use of the city name of Berlin for our little village. Uh, that was given by a name by the name of Leonard Smith, which we will talk about in a future um, uh, series, actually our next episode. Uh, Berlin got a little confusing because there was another Berlin on the eastern shore right outside of Ocean City. And so the postmaster at one time even tried to call this area P.O. Barry, B-A-R-R-Y. Um, and eventually when the railroad um, makes the decision to move its main yard operation here uh, in the late 1880s, in 1890 this area is renamed by uh, the B&O Railroad uh, as Brunswick and we will talk about the birth of Brunswick in a future episode. So that is the, uh, oh, and you know what? I can't forget one uh, nickname that was given to Brunswick after uh, the name changed, but you'll hear Brunswick uh, commonly referred to as Smoketown. And then you'll also see Smoketown used as the Smoketown Brewery. Uh, you'll, uh, there's a local band by the name of Smoketown I even had a company called Smoketown Publishers at one time. So Smoketown, Smoketown, what, what does Smoketown mean? So Smoketown was the essence of Brunswick during its heyday, when the steam engines were coming through, when the factories, and when I say the factories, the railroad buildings were uh, operating, um, and the massive amounts of smoke that were produced that actually you know covered uh, the area of town. In fact, uh, a lot of, uh, folks uh, who the ladies um, housewives uh, were uh, planned their wash around the schedule of the trains so they didn't get smoke and soot on their clothes so that's where the uh, the term smoke town comes from I hope you enjoyed the session about nicknames if I missed any please uh, add it to the comments please comment anything you would like uh, also um, you can direct message us if you're shy and uh, we hope to you check out a future uh, episode in the series of Brunswick History 101. Thank you.